Ezekiel Elliott is going to lead the league in rushing next season, at least according to Pro Football Focus. They project he'll rush for over 1,200 yards. Woo. Zeke has led the league in rushing in two of his three seasons in the NFL, Woo. which also coincides with the Cowboys winning <laughs> <next season. laughs> Shannon, Skip oh. is waiting with bated breath well, on your answer. Uh -huh. Does this mean Dallas will win the NFC East again? It means I like the way GMB writing their scripts. Really? Yeah, I he like that. Own script. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the NFC East mm. coincide with Zeke Elliott no, leading no, the league in no, rush. Really. Okay. No. But what it should tell you, Skip Bayless, is that everything hinges on Zeke. This is why they're more apt to give Zeke the contract first as opposed to giving your guy... 30 plus million. Wrong. Did you know this, Skip? He led the league in mm. rushing in 2016 with on 322 carries. Mm -hmm. He led the league in rushing last year on 304 carries. Mm -hmm. Did you know he missed one game in each of those seasons? Mm -hmm. He was 10th in the league in rushing the year he was suspended for six games. So, so there, your point is? There's been a great chance mm. that he would have led the league in rushing all sure. three years. And led, Absolutely. The, and led the league in carries. Okay. But what does that tell you, Skip Bayless? Mm. He played the running back as the most violent position in all of the NFL. How many more years do you think he's going to be able to carry this workload? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to think about yeah, that. Yeah, That's you not need, the question. You need to think about it. Yeah, because, we're talking about this year, right here, right now. Skip, you know why he's going to lead the league in rushing? Mm. Because it's their offense is predicated on him leading the league mm. in rushing. Really? They only go as far as those two one legs can carry them. Really? That, yeah, that just goes to show you, Skip. Mm. Bayless, whatever everybody comes out here, coaches, guests, me, but you don't want to listen to me. Well, because everybody you, is wrong. <laughs> see, you always think I got an ax to grind with your mm, cowboy. You do. And you don't take anything yep. I say about them. You're like, yep. oh, you're just a hater. Yeah. Skip, I'm just telling you, I'm just giving you the facts. Mm. This offense is predicated on Zeke. And even though he's gonna lead the league in rushing, mm -hmm. which will be the first time he leads the league in rushing, and they don't win the mm. division. Mm. Now, you take that to your bank. Mm. You can cash that check. Mm. Don't put it in the drawer. Really? Yeah, because you ain't going to incur no interest. Ugh. Put money, put it in the bank. So, Jen said I'm waiting with bated breath over here. <laughs> I'm actually about to be unabated <laughs> to your argument. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just knock it down and okay. sack it. Okay. 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 If Ezekiel Elliott leads the league in rushing again this year, as I believe he will, my Cowboys won't just win the division for a third time in four years. They will get to the Super Bowl. Because finally last year, Jerry Jones went out and made the move of the year and got us the missing link. My quarterback, my quarterback did not have a number one receiver that he had any connection with because, to your point, Hall of Famer, you said Des Bryant was a shell of himself and a disaster that he ran all the wrong routes because he didn't have many to run in the first place. <laughs> and that you were the first to say, after that debacle in Denver going back two years ago, mm -hmm. that they are not on the same page. Dez and Dak. Correct. Right? Yes. So good riddance. God bless. I'm knocking on wood for him. I hope he recovers and finds a home somewhere. Dallas might use okay. him again. Well, I don't think so because we have our true number one. And he has a true deep soul connection with my quarterback. And as soon as he hit town last year, they took off. They went seven and one down the backside of the regular season, including two wins over your Philadelphia Eagles, seven and one. And over that stretch, I, silly me, I don't know, looked like Dak turned into a top five quarterback to me because he was third in completions and he was fourth in the league in yards and he was fourth in completion percentage and he was fifth in air distance, distance thrown balls. He's throwing it down the field. We don't need that guy on the screen right now. We need, yeah, we do. We need about 89. Zeke. It's about well, Zeke. No, it's about Amari Cooper. <laughs> Missing link was Amari Cooper because all of a sudden my quarterback turned into top five. So, counselor, I have a big question for you. Yes. Who led the playoffs in rushing last year? Help me out. Oh, could it be the Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots? Yes. So you say, well, the good, great quarterbacks don't need a run. I, I think Tom Brady does need a run game because he had one during the playoffs. Yeah. Can I interest you in this? They averaged 162 yards rushing per game in yeah. those three games. Right. Two leading up to the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. Why was that? 
I don't know, that guy, Sony Michelle, you know, he averaged 112 a game in the playoffs. Right. Will that work? He, will it work? Does that sound like Zeke-esque but, to you? But my point, Skip, in Tom Brady's career, when he, once he became the Tom Brady that we know, how many times, how many times did he have a running back lead the league in rushing? Well, but they do it by committee. They led the playoffs in rushing. Does that work? They didn't do it with Corey Dillon. It wasn't by no committee. 62 a game because you got Rex Burkhead, and then you throw in a little James White, a little Cordero Patterson. If they had, if, you, they, if they got, good. Had, if they had a Todd Gurley, they wouldn't need that. Okay, do you know? Do you do it with one or four? You can do it either. It counts all, both ways. All I'm saying is, is that there's a reason why they went out and got Ezekiel Elliott when they sure. when they had uh, Tony Romo. In that offensive line. Okay. Because they said we're gonna run it and we're gonna protect Tony Romo. Well, they had DeMarco Murray who had led the league. Exactly. Yeah, okay. And so they say, you know what? If we get this young, because they had to run DeMarco Murray, remember they put him to that point of no return. That 1,805 yards that he rushed for his last year there, what was that, 2014? They ran him in the dirt. Okay. So Zeke is going you, down you, that path, you right? Know, you, you guys are taking okay. him down that okay. path. Okay, that's because your quarterback. Do. If you had a quarterback, we have a really. If good you had one, you know what? I've never felt so confident in an opinion on this show versus you than the one I'm about to espouse. What you about to espouse? I'm about to espouse that Dak Prescott is going to have a top five quarterback year this year. He is arriving Rushing. because he actually has some help, as LeBron would put it. No, 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 no. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I resent the fact that you just put Dak Prescott mm. and LeBron James in the same sentence. Well, you you always, as an English major <laughs> should know better. You always put LeBron James and Michael Jordan in the same sentence, and I'm afraid we're going to get struck by lightning. Well, what you think is going to happen now? Yeah. See? Huh? There must be no them, them nope. earthquakes knew you were going to be talking Prescott crazy. Dak Prescott is arriving because Dak Prescott not only has Amari Cooper, but he's got Randall Cobb in the slot, which is an upgrade over a little measly Beasley. Oh, no, so yeah. now, no, now measly Beasley is nothing. You said that Dak had a great connection with measly Beasley. Mm. You like measly Beasley. Mm. He like, bing, 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 measly, bing, bing, bing. Mm. Now, all of a sudden, Beasley gone, and you talking about it. Well, Troy Eggman once said he's uncoverable. That was couple of years ago. Yeah. yeah. And then, I don't know, he sort of got a little I full mean, of Dak himself, start, started his rap career. Oh, uh, so not. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're, you're out, and we're good. We upgraded. We got Aaron Rodgers' favorite target. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. The yeah. other guy, well, Devontae. Well, Devontae, but going back a few yeah. years, it was Randall. Wait, well, I, mean, that, that, I mean, that was Jordy. I mean, Randall, Skip, I'm not trying to, Randall had some great, you, let's see. Boy, every time I was rooting against Aaron Rodgers, Randall used to kill me. But, I mean, now he's going to oh, he, help me. He 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 been killing you for the longest. Make time. me. Green yeah. Bay been killing you because mm. you keep taking oh, really? that over Aaron Rodgers. Mm. And, I, and against your better judgment, mm. someone that's covered the game, been around the game for mm. 40 years, you still do the wrong thing. Mm. Leave that alone. So which quarterback last year in the playoffs had the very best QBR of all the quarterbacks who played in playoff games, who had the best average QBR? Could it be Dak Prescott? He only played two games. Okay, but he played two. He played a big game against Russell Wilson. And then speaking of running for yards, yeah. who had the biggest running play of the playoffs for the Dallas Cowboys last year? Do you remember Goff. third and four? Jared Goff no, against your team. No, no. Can yeah. we see that, please? I just got to see Jared it once, Goff. just for edification. Here it is, third and 14. Oh, That's number four. Guy. Seattle, y'all need y'all Wait, Dak is loose. Look at this. Whoa, whoa. Did you see this? Oh. He slayed the Seahawks right there. That's it. Then he took it in from the one on the next play. There's a running back for you because when you need the running play to be made by the player, it's number four, not number no, 21. It's not. No, it's not. Where'd number 21 go when they went to L.A.? I don't know. He must have stayed in Dallas. Where, I don't know. Maybe he went to Vegas. I don't know. Where's your quarterback the first half? Huh? First half, he yeah. was pretty good. No, no he was gave up, what, two, what was it, 200 and some yards rushing in the first don't, half? Don't worry. No, 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 no. Yeah. But you know, you know, in football, <clears throat> It's not make it, take it. So we score a touchdown, mm. we kick the ball up to you. You get to do whatever you want to do with it. But you guys chose to put it back to the Rams. Okay, but you understand that the biggest shock in, in all the playoffs of any team that played any half in the playoff was the Dallas defense going from shutting down the number one rushing team in all of pro football, mm -hmm. Seattle, at Dallas mm -hmm. the previous week, right? Yeah. To giving up 200-plus yards in the first half to yeah. the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah. With a gimpy Todd. CJ, CJ dropped a ham on you he guys. He dropped a hammer. And then that was it. Okay, how do you come back from that? I don't but know. But guess who had the better QBR in that game? Would you believe that my quarterback had an 84 QBR to Jared Goss 57?
But Jared Goff made the run of the plug the, of the again. How do you give up? What was it? Third and nine. Easy. Run, Jared Goff, run for first down. It was a killer. If you give my quarterback the ball back, we are going to win the yeah, game. You had the ball. I mean, how many times you want you want the ball? How, you want the ball for like it was forty-five or sixty minutes? It was a one-score game. Well, it, why was it a one-score game? Uh, it you had the ball. Thirty to twenty-two. Oh, scared, we, 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 I mean, once we got the lead, we knew you couldn't move it, so yep. we just. We just run the ball three yards into the line and point it back to you because mm. we knew you mm. weren't going to do anything okay. with it. So we have the best duo in the league. You think that it's LeBron and AD? Well, let's take it up a whole level to Dak and Zeke. And you need to go hand in hand because Tom Brady needed his team to lead the playoffs in rushing for him to I'll win. I'll take Drew Brees and Alvin Kamara. Okay. You can have them. You can have them. I'll take them over your, your duo. My, my duo is explosive. No, 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 no. Yep. Your running back is explosive. Yeah, what happened at Jerry World on a Thursday night late in the year? Help me out. I don't know. Did you guys won 13-10. I mean, is it? I mean, I, I mean, what happened? I mean, think about it. It's great as 10 points. They only score 10. You oh. know, we, they, don't you, huh. I think you guys play the Saints this year, right? Drew Brees got a big award last night at the ESPYs, but then, wait, late in that game, didn't he throw it whoa, to us? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, he threw did you see us? my homeboy get an award too, right? Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? You not overrated? <laughs> Most overrated quarterback? Whatever. Huh? For behind the back passes or no look passes? Or and what? he's only what getting he better, get? Skip. He's huh? only gonna get better. Yeah. Now, now if you had that guy, you, I'd be scared. If you had him as your quarterback, I'd be petrified. Yeah, your guy, my homeboy, has to get through Foxborough to get to the Super Bowl. And your guys gotta get through Aaron Rodgers, gotta get through Drew Brees, Jerry Cake Goff walk. again. Cakewalk, we got it. We oh, got this. first of all, you keep talking about, look, the Chiefs and the Patriots are not in the same division. Mm. Your team have to be in the same division as Walker Tua. Oh. Where are they going? Oh. They're going to second in the division. No, they're not. They're going. they're going to be first. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's oh. why we always got to see. How, how did Dallas beat them twice last because year? Because Walker Tua was hurt, oh. but he's healthy now. Really? Yep. Interesting. You know what? Super Bowl, here we come. If pro football focus is right, I got to knock on wood. Zeke said, I ain't knocking on the wood. Healthy. Yeah, he could be okay. healthy. Mm. I ain't knocking on the wood because yeah. y'all not going anywhere. Yeah. I am not going to be in. I'm not going to be in Miami for a whole week mm. dealing with no Cowboy fans. Mm. That's not going to happen. Mm. So the, the the tea leaves or whatever they need, what however I need to speak, praying every night. Mm. Cowboy Nation, we got this. No, we got nothing. Yeah, we got nothing. down to the NFL season is on, and it gives Miami, me chills. Miami, here ready. we come. I'm ready. Here comes Fox, right, and here comes me. This morning, Not the Cowboys. they're going to talk about Kawhi Leonard and whether he's the most powerful man in the NBA. Stephen Jackson joins us with that <laughs> up next.